First off, I want to say all praises to Haya Haya, the Creator, to Michael, the Ark, his angels, whoever helped me to show me where to look and just prodded me in my mind just to look here and, and just focus on what's around me, you know. I got to admit, because I, being from Florida, I love Florida. It's my heart. It's my home. It's all I care about. And uh, I've been kind of stuck because all I've been trying to do is find Indians down there. And the most I came up with uh, were the Mayas and their ruins that are in uh, southern Florida. So I've just been stuck trying to dig it more up. And uh, I took a step back and I decided, you know, after I ran my mouth in uh, Lex Will's comment section just asking questions, you know, there's just so many questions that don't even make sense. Why is it that New York State is one of those states where no Indians were allowed? You know, um, the town outside of Rome here in New York is called, um, was it a Whitesburg? Um, they have a seal, and on their seal, they have a Daniel Boone looking character choking out a Native American, right? Long, stringy hair, red skin, you know, choking them out. And, you know, they're big on that stuff. Uh, and I just couldn't comprehend how is it that the Senecas that I'm reading about in the um, view of the Hebrews were able to stay here and all this other stuff. And I just didn't feel like it's right. Like something's not adding up. So um, I took the uh, took the time. I just decided I'm going to start really buckling down on what's around me here in New York, what I, I can look at and uh, what I know is around me and you know, being aware of the, the surroundings and coming up with stuff that just mind-blowing, right? Um, Salameca. When I was reading the first chapter of uh, the book um, Mystery of the Mexican Pyramids, which Lex will suggest that we get, which is a great book. It's a great read full of information. Uh, I don't go a day without it. It's just like the scripture, you know. Um, but the name Salameca was brought up there, and I'm thinking, you know, I know there's Salameca here in New York, it's right up the road from Olean, where I'm living, right? So what the hell are we talking about, Salamica in Mexico? So I started looking around and obviously it came up, yeah, there's Salamica in Mexico and there's a Salamica in Spain. And the only reason there's a Salamica in Mexico is because of the Spaniards that went there. And so I'm like, okay, what's the connection between the Salamica in New York and the Salamica in Spain and in Mexico, right? And it's their founder. Just D. Salameca. Uh, he invested in the railroad that ran through this territory. Hope you, you can read that. I just took this off of Wikipedia. Um, he named this town Salameca, right? After him. And I'm trying to figure out okay, well, there's an Indian reservation here. This is uh, Salameca territory. Um, of the, I mean, his territory now is uh, the uh, Senecas, right? They own this, right? So I'm just trying to figure this out, right? It's like something's not adding up. And uh, especially just the whole South uh, the Seneca Indians, how did they stay here this whole entire time and survive if Indians were being forced to leave to through forced migration to Oklahoma, you know, and Kansas? Um, so I just, started looking around even more and uh, as I was reading on their Wikipedia page it mentions that the, the Seneca Indians actually uh, were able to establish Salamanca as uh, a part of theirs once they beat out the um, I believe they're called uh, Win Hor Win I'm sorry Wins or Horm in the Erie Harm on um, I will just read uh, I was, it's actually spelled W E N R O H R O N O N. And the other one's spelled Erie, uh, E R I E H R O uh, N O. I mean, sorry, yeah, N O N. And apparently, the Seneca's beat these Indians out, forced them to leave, and they took this territory, from at least what I've read. Well, I started looking around online, 
to read more about them. And I found this book. It's called the uh, it's called the Handbook of American Indians North of Mexico. And on page um, 934, sorry, can you see that? Page 934. Um, it explains that these are, in fact, uh, black Indians. And, um, yeah, and they also dealt with a tribe that was called uh, the Black Mesquites, I believe it is. Um, they used the same trade routes uh, as the, the Black Mesquites to cross the Allegheny and on into Delaware to trade with the Europeans and stuff like that. And just to confirm what I found, uh, the Encyclopedia of Pennsylvania Indians page 294 states that yes in fact these are black indians uh, so i found them i'm finding the answers i'm looking for slowly but surely and um yeah i just want to get this out there you know because uh it just comes into question i mean there's a lot of stuff like i mean why is niagara Falls named that was given its name uh by the jesuits you know, I read that in the uh, Roman American writings, you know, because uh, the Romans are claimed to have uh, been a part of it. Um, you know, there's just, just a lot of different stuff. I thought that was really interesting. And uh, there was something else I was trying to, but oh well. So I just want to put this out there. Um, oh, yeah, Pennsylvania. I found out there was a, uh, a treaty. Um, that's uh, a really silly one, a really uh, disturbing one as well. It's called the uh, Walking Treaty. And uh, the founder of Pennsylvania, William Penn, came to an agreement with the so-called Indians that um, that whoever can walk the most amount of land in a day and state that land became um, their territory. And somehow the Indians apparently didn't know their territory that they've been living in for all these years that well because William Penn apparently hired a whole bunch of men to run they supposedly ran it all across Pennsylvania sticking their flags and uh, yeah when it was all said and done the Indians had no territory somehow the men that have never even been here were able to out race the Indians to gather uh, the state of Pennsylvania to themselves now my thing is if you've been living here for thousands of years, you've crossed these lands, you know the rivers, you know that, that Pennsylvania has a Grand Canyon in it, so avoid that area because you're going to you know, waste time trying to cross it and stuff like that. How is it that men that have never even been here beat you out? Think about that. <laughs> Unless the real Indians were kicked out of here and were sent into slavery, you know, sold down there on the blocks in downtown of Philadelphia. Uh, or were sent to the western states where they were put on the uh, small plains in, in Oklahoma and Texas and things like that to work as slaves. So, I, like I said, I'm going to try to be calm right now because I was just uh, running around the room exploding when I found this stuff. So, all praise, uh, Haya Haya. Um, I want to get this book. Um, I definitely got to get these books, though. You know, again, it's a uh, handbook of American Indians north of Mexico, page 934, and uh, just look up uh, Encyclopedia of Pennsylvania Indians 294 as well. Peace out, family.